Well, hopefully, you know, it stays, it stays the way that they've had it, you know, have planned it out. Well, we've got a huge, huge week of skylights ahead. Eight big games on tap. Here's where we're headed this Friday. North Hills will open up an improved stadium. They'll host Peters Township, Mount Lebanon at Upper St. Clair, Gateway at Woodland Hills, Baldwin at Trinity, West Allegheny at Moon, Seton LaSalle at North Catholic at beautiful North Park, Elwood City at Knock, and Brashear versus Perry at Couple Stadium. What a lineup, eight games and skylights. And calling your scores after the games to the Skylights Hotline, 412-237-1212. That's 412-237-1212. The Pirates hosting Milwaukee tonight at PNC. First inning, the Bucks load the bases, and Jason Candle gets drilled by a pitch. Forces in a run, the Pirates led 1-0. With the bases still loaded, Warren Morris drills a two RBI double, and the Pirates led 3-0. Pirates scored five runs in the first inning. Pirates led 5-2 in the ninth. Milwaukee loads the bases, and the Bucks' Mike Fetter strikes out Mark Loretta to end it. Bucks win 5-2, and the Pirates with their smallest crowd of the season, 17,000 tonight at PNC Park. Fetters is fun to watch, though. He gets, he, yeah, he's a, he's he a gets, goofy guy, he but he gets, gets a job done. Yeah, he does. All right. All right Thanks, thank John. You. More news and weather up next. Turns out it's just not politically correct. Find out what you'll no longer see at Disneyland. Disneyland is making changes to become more politically correct. That means breaking with tradition and tinkering with some of its most loved attractions. Yeah, gone are the animated hippos, once the target of safari shootouts every eight minutes. Gone, too, the muskets and toy guns, once for sale in Frontierland. Also, the Pirates of the Caribbean no longer chasing women. They're not happy about that. And as for the Jungle Cruise, some say the guns should just be silenced. <laughs> All right, final look at weather. Yeah, nothing politically correct about this <laughs> forecast, I'll tell you that. We have nice weather headed our way. Tomorrow we're going to wake up to a little bit of patchy fog. But look at all the sunshine you see right through 10 a.m. Well, let me tell you, that sun is going to continue throughout the day tomorrow. It looks like temperatures should top out at about 78 degrees. Low humidity levels. I mean, you know the weather we had over this past holiday weekend. More of that is returning for tomorrow on into Thursday. Now, come Friday to the weekend. Well, we may see some changes with the frontal system, but we'll talk more about that as we uh, progress right. through the week. All right. We look forward to that. Thank you so All right, much. Guys. Lower humidity. Sounds good, sir. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. Channel 11 News continues tomorrow morning at 5. You'll get 11 uninterrupted minutes of news, traffic, and weather at the top of every half hour. It's coverage you can count on right here on Channel 11 News. Good night. This news segment is sponsored in part by Walmart.